Just a little FYI, yesterday's vlog is no longer age restricted, so if you weren't able to watch it yesterday, click the link in the description below and you guys will be able to watch it now. Now let's get into today's vlog. What's up guys and welcome back to my vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed yesterday's 100 layers challenge. I apologize if I have anything in my teeth right now. I actually just got done eating some peanut M&Ms. What a great fucking start to the day. Just got out of the shower not too long ago. I'm about to head off to the P.O. box. I was telling you guys I wanted to do something with that gorilla tape today and my plan for that is to go to the fucking gun range and see if this tape can stop a bullet that's the plan I have a few other things that I have to do today that are priority I have to send out a couple things in the mail I have to run to the bank really quick and handle some things with my checking account I started off the day eating M&Ms and that's not gonna do it for me so I'm actually gonna heat up my leftover jambalaya that I got last night Cole, you gonna go in the pool today you gonna go in the pool babies you gonna go in the pool? Oh, he wanted to kiss you. He wanted to give you a kiss, Cole. Excuse me, Griffy. What are you doing down here under the bushes? What are you doing down there? Ew, there's a diaper from the pool. What are you doing? Get out from under there, Griffy. Good boy. I swear this jambalaya tastes even better the second time around. Rachel didn't want her little piece of steak either, so I'm eating that as well. I don't know if you guys can see in the sky right now, but it looks like there's a little fire. First place I'm headed off to is a gas station because my car is about to run out of gas. Well, I'm a fucking dumbass. I left my fucking wallet and shit at the fucking house. I'm about to run out of gas. Thankfully, Romeo is going to put $30 in my tank and then I'm going to run back to the house and grab my wallet and shit. I got my bank card. I got my ID. You guys know when Lance pulled that oil prank on me, I slipped and fell and my knee actually popped really bad. It hurt for about three or four days. And I just tried jumping from my fucking rug to my stairs and my knee fucking popped so loud. I'm in so much pain right now. I really have to get this shit done and then if my knee's not feeling better afterwards, I'm probably gonna end up going to the emergency room. I guess the moral of this story is if you're fat, don't jump around like you're a fucking lemur. Sir Gimsalot made it to the post office. My knee's killing me right now. I wonder what's in the mystery box today. Oh, well we definitely got some packages. Couple letters in here. Locker number 12 is a big one. Holy shit. Got a ton of stuff today. Quite a few packages and a few letters to open up when I get home. Next stop is the bank. This ambulance back here is trying to get by. I moved over the best that I could, but he's literally up on the sidewalk right now. Yo, this bank is messed up. They literally put clown glass on the front of it to make you look fatter as you're walking in. No, I'm just fat. After an hour and a half, we are finally done at the bank. Right now, I think we're gonna head to the gun range and see if we can shoot that 100 layers of Gorilla Tape. It's actually in my back seat right now and it's making my car fucking smell. My video ended up getting age restricted today. I appealed it through YouTube and they messaged me back saying, oh, your video doesn't violate our community guidelines, but we don't think it fits a general audience, therefore we age restricted your video. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Anyways, we're making it to this place right now. I'm not too sure if this is an actual range. I don't think so. I think this is actually just a store, which was a complete waste of time to probably come over here. Yeah, so this place we showed up at is actually just like a sportsman's store. The gun range we're going to head to is actually 17 minutes away. So we're going to head there and check it out. Hopefully, we'll be able to shoot that 100 layers of Gorilla Tape and see if it can stop a bullet. Guys, I am extremely sorry. We drove all the way to the gun range. Clark County Shooting Complex. You guys can look it up if you don't believe me. But for some random ass fucking reason, they're closed on Tuesdays. I'm so fucking annoyed right now. Between my video getting age restricted, them not wanting to unage restrict it, and then the shooting range being closed, I'm just fucking pissed off. One way or another, I am gonna end up shooting that 100 layers of Gorilla Tape. It's just not gonna be in this vlog. The gun range is open tomorrow, so I'm probably gonna head over there tomorrow and see if I'll be able to shoot it. We went to Casa de on Wands and got some food. I just stopped at the gas station to get some beer and now we're headed home to eat some dinner. We just finished up eating not too long ago. I forgot to tell you guys when I was at the bank the lady actually commented on my don't be a Richard hat. She goes that is hilarious. But right now we're about to start opening up some fan mail. Devin just got here. He's in the kitchen washing his hands right now. He's gonna eat a burrito. Yo, there's there's only one thing though. If you get the shits we don't have no toilet paper right now. You know when I live down the street. So I live. That, that is a good thing. This is shipped by Amazon and it's from here here is my card, I'll call you. <laughs> Whatever the fuck that means. Let's see what we got. Holy shit, another box inside of a box. 
And it says exactly what I just said. I didn't fart, my ass blew you a kiss. It doesn't say who sent this, so to whoever sent this, thank you. Fits you well. Yeah, because I fucking fart all the time. It says a gift from Marcos Areda. Looks like we got another knife. I think it's the same one. I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh it no, is? this one's different. Oh. oh, this one's sick. This is an EMT knife. Well, that's, I love the color. Hell yeah, and it has like a little fucking flashlight on it. I don't know how to use it though. Um, right here is a seatbelt cutter. This is a window punch. Nice. There you go. That's pretty sick. Thank you again, Marcos. This knife is fucking sick. Well, this is a fucking long ass receipt. It says, hi Cody, enjoy your gift. You need a big time from Fat Boy Marcos. All right, so it looks like we got another knife. Oh shit. Oh, I love another that. Can I knife. have that? Um, I guess, maybe. Babe, it's we pink. Have to, um, it, the, 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 fucking fuck, I can't talk. The EMT logo actually fell off while they shipped it, so we'll have to super glue that back on there. But this knife is fucking sick. Is that a seatbelt cutter? This one has a seatbelt cutter as well as a window punch. But that's not all he sent. What is that? Hat racks. Nice. I guess my fans knew that I was procrastinating on getting the hat rack. Uh, it says it holds up to 20 hats, so I'm gonna have to set this up on the back of my door after we're done opening the fan mail. Hopefully this is gonna be enough to hold the hats that I've gotten so far. Thank you, Fat Boy Marcos. I appreciate it. it. Says hi, Cody. Hope your dogs enjoy this. I know. I know my dog loves bacon strips. You should have another package from me in another day or so. Enjoy your gift from Sean Dockham. Hey, send him some bacon strips. They love those. Yeah, Cody and Griffey love bacon strips. That was sweet. Or maybe we'll do a challenge where loser has to eat some bacon strips. We'll probably end up getting sick. You'll probably end up losing. It'd be you that eats the bacon strips. Dude, these knives are so sharp. Says, hi Cody, I hope you enjoy your gift. I'm 14 and I've been watching your videos for about four months now. You've done so well and just wanted to say keep up the great work, Jake. All right, let's see what we got in here. I'm gonna guess and say that it's another knife, but I'm not too sure. Oh yeah, that, what? Batman knife? Yeah, this looks fucking dangerous. I'm probably definitely gonna fuck myself that up with this. That looks awesome. Oh yeah, that shit's fucking sharp. This is a crazy ass looking Can knife. Can you see it up close? Turn it around. Sick ass Batman knife. Yeah, that is so cool. Amazon is getting sloppy with their uh, their note packing skills. Hi Cody, just a little something to help with the PO box openings. Keep doing what you do, Janine from New York. It looks like we got another knife. Yep. I've been getting a shit ton of knives lately. That's awesome. That color is actually really sick looking. It's like an orange camo almost. Man, this is badass. You guys are awesome. Thank you, Janine. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I'm gonna use this knife to open the next package. <laughs> This one, I probably really shouldn't use it to be opening a fucking box, but. It doesn't say who this is from. Peel off adhesive and stick subtle butt onto the inside of your underwear or pants exactly where you think it goes. Go for it, let her rip, cut loose, break the wind, gas it up. When you're done wearing subtle butt, remove it and discard it. If adhesive traces remain, use a damp cloth for removal. <laughs> so you pretty much stick this inside your underwear and when you fucking rip ass, and it makes it so it doesn't smell. I'm definitely gonna fucking test these out because I'm really curious to see if this actually works or not. That Thank you to whoever sent this. I didn't even realize until just now that this Batman knife is actually double bladed. This shit is so fucking badass. This could definitely do some damage to some shit. Oh yeah. Holy cow, that's crazy. <laughs> Romeo's dog got out and actually was just in the neighbor's garage. Uh, he, over here, he's such an idiot. I need to mow my lawn again, guys. That's gonna be in the in the plans for tomorrow. Trying to get Devin to take the day off tomorrow so that we can come to Formula Auto House with me, but <laughs> he's being lame. But we pretty much just had to chase this goddamn dog around the whole neighborhood. We finally ended up catching him. Now we're about to go jump in the pool for a little bit. Right now we're all about to go in the pool. I just had to turn the filters on really quick. I see a lot of you guys commenting on my vlog yesterday saying my pool looks green compared to my neighbors. So my neighbors have blue pool liners. I don't have a pool liner in my pool. It's like rounded rock on the bottom. So that's why mine gives off a greenish tint. It's not because my pool is dirty. It's just because I don't have a light blue pool liner. So I guess Romeo had a little too much to drink. He's pretty much passed out right now. Yeah. Yo, we are gonna pull the funniest fucking prank on him. 
early tomorrow morning, Romeo has to go and get his battery in his truck replaced. I told you guys this the other day that he was having problems with his battery. And right now, me and Devin are about to head off to Walmart and we're gonna get some Plasti Dip. So what Plasti Dip is, is it's pretty much a plastic spray paint that you can spray on a vehicle and it'll peel right off. But we're gonna make it seem like someone vandalized Romeo's truck. We're gonna do dicks all over it. It is gonna be fucking hilarious. He has his alarm set for eight o'clock in the morning. So I told him to wake me up in the morning and we're gonna go do his battery but little does he know when he walks out in the morning his truck is gonna be destroyed we are walking into Walmart I'm hoping that they have plasti dip here so we can do this prank right here we got one can of black plasti dip and one can of red I'm gonna be doing the black and Devin's gonna go ham with the red can the cans of plasti dip are still in Devin's car we're gonna walk in right now and check and make sure that Romeo is still sleeping All right, he's still passed out on the couch, so we're about to do this shit. So this is Romeo's truck. We got that flashlight that my buddy Peter sent me so we can see what we're doing. This is going to be hilarious. I honestly don't even think we need the flashlight because we got the street lights and it's pointing right onto the truck. So let's get this started. Devin's got the red Plasti Dip and he's gonna do the honors and break the first Plasti Dip seal by doing a big giant dick on the hood. <laughs> Yo, this is gonna be so fucking funny. Why does the dickhead look like that? Yo, that is the weirdest dickhead I think I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Why does it look like that? That is little pubes. Oh, you gotta add some pubes on there? Works for me. I think he is going to be super pissed off, especially since he's probably gonna think it's spray paint and not Plasti Dip. He's definitely gonna be pissed. Right now, we're about to add some pubes onto this big giant dick on the hood. You can't even really tell that they're pubes. He'll get the message. <laughs> I think we need some veins. Is there some veins? Yeah. Oh, hell yeah, I'm done. What do you think? It's looks not the best me. veins, but you get the point. It looks good to me. All right, we're gonna make this a race truck. Sixty-nine, dude. Let's do a little dick right here. <laughs> Hopefully this peels off. It should. I hope so. Oh, there's a car coming. I don't care. Doesn't look that bad. That looks like a pretty good racing stripe. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Can you see it on the camera? Yeah. Does that look like a smiley face? Yeah. Kind of, sort of, or yeah. not really? What should you do? Do whatever you want. There you go. That's a good smiley face. Yo, could you imagine if the cops came right now? Because they actually thought we were like vandalizing his truck. That would be fucking hilarious. I don't think we would get in trouble. And then the red tongue? Yeah, yeah there you go. Oh, hell yeah. That looks good. What do you think about red polka dots? Polka dots are good. Polka dots are good, right? Yeah. Definitely needs one right here. He's gonna think someone really spray painted his car. Yo, this is gonna be so funny. I'm honestly scared that when he finds out that this happened, that he's gonna automatically assume it was me and try fucking fighting me. You better put your car in the garage. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put my car in the garage so he thinks that it was someone that hated me trying to do it to me, but they couldn't get to me because my car was in the garage. That's such a good fucking idea. Damn. This shit is looking crazy holy shit not that but oh my god dude look at this big dick on the fucking hood damn daniel damn yo this shit is crazy he's definitely gonna be pissed for sure he's still sleeping right now and is what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna record his reaction in the morning when we go to change his battery and he walks out and he just sees all this fucking shit on his truck i got my cotton and i got my coil kit but i didn't get any coils yet so i'm gonna have to wait but i'm super excited to learn how to build all right guys i'm about to pass out i will see you guys in the morning i cannot wait to see romeo's reaction this is gonna be priceless all right guys 
So right now it is 7.56 in the morning. I told Romeo to knock on my door at 8 o'clock to wake me up, so he should be knocking on the door any minute now. Yo. Yo, you up? Yeah, I'm getting dressed right now. All right. Yo, he literally has no idea. This is gonna be fucking hysterical. I'm pretty much gonna walk outside with him and act like I'm starting my vlog. I'm gonna say, what's up guys? Welcome back to my vlog. And then we're gonna see his reaction when he sees all this shit all over his truck. What's up guys? Welcome back to my vlog. Right now we are headed out to get Romeo's battery replaced in his truck. Yo, what the fuck? What the fuck? Yo. Yo. You think this is fucking funny, dude? I didn't fucking do this. Oh my fucking god, dude. Who the fuck would do some shit like this, yo? Damn, yo, shit's not even fucking worth nothing now. Oh my fucking god, yo. Dude, your shit is fucked. Yo, are you good? Are you good? Who are you calling right now? The fucking cops, bro. I gotta get the insurance money back to the shit. Why the fuck? Dude, don't call the fucking cops. They're not gonna be able to do anything. There's no cameras in the neighborhood. Yeah, I know, but I'll at least be able to get the fucking insurance. Yo, don't call the fucking cops. It's, bro, yo, it's just a prank. This isn't fucking spray paint, it's Plasti Dip. Dude, you're a fucking fat piece of shit, bro. It's way too fucking early for this bullshit. Yeah, it literally peels off, bro. It's not even that serious. It fucking does peel right off. See? I told you. Comes right off. Damn, Daniel. Got a big ass dick on your hood. Yeah, at least I know they didn't use your tiny dick as a stencil, asshole. No, <laughs> fuck you. Yo, chill. Chill. Chill! Yo, chill! You're gonna fucking hit the car in front of us! Now he's even more pissed because I'm not even gonna go to Interstate Battery with him. If you guys enjoyed that prank, please give this video a thumbs up. That was my first prank that I've ever pulled. And now this is me wrapping up yesterday's vlog the next morning. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and turn on my post notifications so you guys never miss a vlog. I post every single day. Today I'm going to be going to the gun range with Devin when he gets off of work and seeing if we can shoot a bullet through that 100 layers of Gorilla Tape. That pretty much wraps it up for today's vlog. I will see you guys tomorrow. Alright guys, so I am naked right now and we are about to start the 100 layer Harambe Tape Challenge. By Harambe tape, I mean Gorilla tape. I'm gonna stick 100 layers of Gorilla tape on my ass and then rip it off.